RSV season is ramping up and doctors are hoping a new shot to prevent the virus eases cases after last year's record. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz is here now with what you need to know. Liz. Well, right, Angela, RSV is the leading cause of hospital admissions in children under one, but doctors say the new shot could possibly change that. And this is our daughter's nursery. Molly Fleener is due in December. Her second daughter will be born during the peak of RSV season. RSV can be very scary. With It can take a turn really quickly. This new Bay Fortis RSV antibody shot is bringing hope. It helps prevent the virus in babies from birth to eight months or in older babies with severe risk factors. Hey, am I going to get a smile from you? But some pediatricians are facing challenges getting supply. There was not an infrastructure in place to roll out monoclonal antibodies. And so even though we have families that are requesting it, we can't meet their demands. A big complication right now, the cost at nearly $500 a dose. While the shot is expected to be covered by most insurance plans, providers need to order the shot before knowing how much they'll be reimbursed. This summer, the American Academy of Pediatrics urged federal leaders to provide support so the shot can be administered widely and equitably. It shouldn't be a guessing game. It should be pretty black and white and should be accessible and available to as many people possible, if not everybody. Molly Fleener will also be eligible for the new RSV vaccine for pregnant women. Doctors are recommending either that shot for mom or the immunization for the newborn. Fleener is deciding between the two, but knows she wants the protection. And the American Academy of Pediatrics is recommending that every baby whose mother did not get the maternal shot receive Bay Fortis in their first week of life. Guys. All right, Liz, thank you.